Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Hey, it's Charles. Good morning. Just woke up just a little bit ago. Fit in one of my other shirts that I could never wear because I've lost so damn much weight. Uh, anyway, thanks for all your views on the questions that I just posted yesterday uh, from the young lady in Canada. I've got another one here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is from a young lady named Kay from the United States of America and from a, a guy we'll call Bob because I don't want to give his name out here. First of all, we'll talk to Kay. Kay's from the United States, as I stated, and she's got some questions here. Question number one, uh, here's what Kay says. She says, Charles, I encountered your videos on, to the South American girl, and I was just looking through your blog. Very, very interesting stuff. Well, thank you. She's doing some research, and she wants to know if I can help her. Question one, what is the airport like when visiting from the United States or anywhere else? I'm assuming you're talking about the Serbian International Airport, Nikola Tesla. It's a nice airport. I mean, it's small. It's, uh, you know, everything's there. You get in, you get out quickly. Uh, so it's just fine. Uh, next question, were they friendly upon your arrival? Yes, they were. Had zero issues with the customs guards being an American. Looked at my passport a couple times. They said friendly things, uh, and that's it. Um, and if so, what... Did the, most importantly, did the officer speak, flu, speak English? Yes, they did. Wonderful English. Uh, and if so, what level of understanding would you say they had? Basic or fluent? I would say fluent. Uh, did they speak amongst themselves in English as well, or a native tongue? Well, <laughs> sorry to make some faces on that. It's kind of a strange question to me. This is, this is the Republic of Serbia, and the, and the native language here is Serbian. And in those booths, I think there's three booths at the customs thing, and they're all in their own little booths, so they weren't really there conversing. When you go out, there's a couple guards that watch, and every once in a while they'll stop somebody. But of course, they speak in Serbian. It's this is Serbia. Um, what level of slang did they use? They spoke Serbian, and I don't. I'm not that fluent in Serbian. Question two: Do Serbians speak English? Yes, they do very, very well. That's how I get along here for three years without speaking their language. Uh, most, some, or all? I would say uh, a large percentage. Usually here in Serbia, about anybody under the 30 years of age speaks English beautifully. When you get over 30, a lot of those people, like during communist times when Tito was in charge here, they really didn't learn English in their school system. Now, the great thing about Serbia, they're starting kids this big in preschool, they're starting them in English education courses already. Phenomenal. The older people learn Russian and German, so a lot of the older people, 40 and up, don't speak English very well. Uh, except the, edu the really educated people do, of course. Um, if so, what level do they communicate with you? I would say, you know, is Vini, my, I've got some coffee cooking over here and I've got to shut it off. I would say the young people here speak English at a, at a wonderful level. My, my best friends here, you know, I can sit and talk with them about everything. And it, the longer I've been here, the, the less I notice somebody's bad English. It's so frustrating to me when I, when I first meet a person in Serbia, almost every single person says the same thing. I'll say, uh, we'll start speaking, they say, oh, I'm sorry for my English. And I'm like, okay, no problem. And then they start talking, it's like, Jesus, what, what, what the hell are you sorry for, for God's sakes? You know, they always tell me, slavo, slavo, slavo English, which means poorly. But Jesus, they, they speak beautiful English, just accents, because they don't have a, a, as big of a chance as we do uh, to, to encounter other English people. Well, of course we're going to encounter English speakers because we're from the United States. Jesus, I'm an idiot. Or in a few years it's going to be all Hispanic, so we won't even have that opportunity. But they do a great job. W's, they, they struggle on in th. Serbs don't say th very well. And W, a lot of times they'll say v, ver, ver, and the r, 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 r. And that's really about it. Question three, are Serbians observant of religion, religious practices, holidays like in the USA? Yes, they are. Uh, the majority of Serbs, if you call yourself a Serb, you're probably a Pravoslavitz, which is Orthodox, the Orthodox faith, which is a really, really old, uh, the birth, really, of Christianity. And uh, they separated from the Catholic Church due to some differences uh, many, many, many centuries ago. And the Serbians are very religious. Are, they're religious. I, I'm not going to speak to all of them because I, I know so many Serbians and some of them don't give a crap about anything and some of them are very, very religious. Uh, some differences in the, in the Orthodox faith, they don't go to church every Sunday, they don't go to Mass, they don't go uh, you know, twice a week to, to, to sit and listen to sermons. They don't really do that. A lot of them have a, one of their biggest observances is a Slava and it's like the patron saint of their home. Uh, so many years ago when Christianity was founded, 
they were given a saint to look over their family, kind of. Some people also told me that when the Turks were here, they didn't allow Serbians to gather into groups unless it was for a religious function. So they started the Slavo get-together where all people would come over to celebrate. Very unique and awesome tradition. You go, you eat awesome food. Uh, a lot of times they have music, they have bread, you break the bread. Uh, they'll have a thing of wheat. Just a very cool custom. So very, very uh, religious, uh, lots of good practices, whatever you want to call it. I'm not religious at all, but uh, you know they are religious here. And they also have uh, Christmas, they celebrate it uh, January 7th when we do the 25th because they, they, their religion is off of a different calendar. So their New Year's celebration is actually the 14th of January, I believe. Uh, so it's a couple weeks after ours, about 14 days after, I think, if, if my American math is good. Uh, and Uskras, which is Easter, kind of the celebration. So they have similar things than we do. Question four, do they have certain respect for hierarchy, boss, employee setting? If so, do you have an example that you witnessed? Uh, do they have a certain respect for hierarchy, boss, employee? Well, one problem here in Serbia that, that every single person knows about, and I've seen it firsthand, uh, really heard about it firsthand from hundreds of Serbs that I talked to. This country has a big, 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 massive problems with employment corruption here. Uh, lots of these jobs to get into a bank, to get into a factory, you have to bribe someone for the opportunity to get a job there. Uh, you know, so some people take out a little bit of a loan to, to, to try to bribe somebody for a job. Also, political connections is huge to get into a job here. Uh, it's, just a, it's just part of it, and that's something that needs to change. And that gets a lot of kids that are so damn smart here in Serbia. It gives them a lot of you know, negative uh, hope for the future. You know, so many kids, I go around and speak to tons of schools and hundreds of kids, and all of them say, you know, I, I really love this subject. You know, I love to study this. It's, it's my passion, but I, can't, I won't be able to find a job. You know, and it, it almost makes me cry to, to think that because that, that's so damn sad. You, you've got these extremely motivated kids that are smart as hell, can speak numerous languages, know every single fact about, you know, many, many subjects, math, science, computers, well-rounded, smart, smart kids, but they already are thinking, man, I'm not going to be able to get a job. And, you know, it's sad, dude, you know, but... You know, there, but there is respect, of course. I worked in some schools, uh, you know, and they're just like everybody else, you know. I mean, they, there's respectful people and there's people that are not so respectful, I'm sure. Jobs are hard to get here, uh, so a lot of the people, when they're working, they, they want to take care of it. They, they, you know, really, really need it, for God's sake. So I'm sure they're more respectful than some. Uh, I have noticed. Uh, not to say anything negative about Serbia, but I think Americans are, are more polite um, in, in the jobs situations, like in fast food places, in, in, in convenience stores. But, you know, here in Serbia, you know, their minimum wage, man, uh, is god-awful. They, they had a study, and their, their minimum wage here in Serbia is less than the Philippines and less than China. You know, these Serbs are making like 136 dinar, I think. Don't quote me on that per hour a minimum wage and some places don't even pay that you know I've got a friend that worked 12 hours a day in this and he's a Hungarian kid in Zrenin and, and he moved to England he said he was working 12 hours a day for a thousand dinara and that's like 10 bucks you know horrible so I can understand if I'm working for 136 dinara an hour in a fast food place I'm probably not gonna say hey welcome how are you are you having a good day probably not you know I've got other things on my mind uh, any other Tips you can give me about Serbia versus the USA, goal-oriented and successful people climb the ladder like in the US, working people, do they have habits, customs like us, you know, work nine to five, happy hour, enjoy Friday evening gathering, enjoy weekends with friends, church going Sundays, morning haters, strive to get educated and climb the corporate ladder. Well, I would say Serbs are goal-oriented and, and unfortunately a large number of the, of the youth and the educated university students, their goal is to leave Serbia and, and, and go to Germany, go to the United States, go to Canada and, and try to make a living. And, and it's sad, but there, there's a lot of goal, <laughs> uh, people setting goals for that. Um, there are successful people here, yes. Uh, did it climb the ladder like in the U.S.? You know, of course, you know, it, it's, it's hard here though, like I stated, to move up. You know, I've heard that from a lot of Serbs. 
once you get into a job, you know, in the USA and other Western countries, you start low and you can always get advancement. But here in Serbia, it's damn hard to do, unfortunately. Um, do they have habits and customs like us? You know, they, they do some of the some of the certain uh, customs here. When you when you meet uh, a girl that you kind of get to know a little bit, you kiss her mm, 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 three times. In Serbia, a lot of things are in threes. Uh, due to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Trinity. Um, uh, a lot of the guys, when you go to like a birthday party and, and your close friends, you kiss them. I, I kiss my guy friends here, and you know it's kind of strange. If you go back to the U.S., you know I don't do that very much. Uh, a lot of hugging here. A lot of people are touchy here in Serbia more so than we are. I think. Uh, do they enjoy each uh, habits? Unfortunately, smoking is a big habit here in Serbia. Uh, you know, I think I drink more here in Serbia than the Serbians do, so even though alcohol is so prevalent and, and, and easy to get for young kids, you know, they don't do it as much, I, I don't think, as we do because it's not as fun, because it's not illegal for kids. Um, do they enjoy... Serbians are the most extremely social people I've ever met, and that's one reason I'm staying here. Every single country I went to, I've never experienced people that just want to hang out with you all the time. You know, call you, let's go sit down and have a coffee. It might take them 30 minutes to get to the center to have a coffee with you for 10 minutes uh, if they're in a hurry, but they'll do it, you know. I mean, so friendly, friendly people. You'll love your trip here. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all your questions anyway. If I can answer anything else, Kate, send me a message. I'd be more than happy to find out for you. And if I don't know, I'll find out, okay? Bob, my friend. Bob is uh, a homosexual, and Bob wants to know about that uh, visiting Serbia as a homosexual man. Well, you know, uh, that probably is an issue here. And not to discuss uh, Serbian hate or anything like that, but there is a problem, I think, with, uh, you know, homosexuality here. It's, this is kind of a very conservative culture. Uh, it's not like a lot of the bigger cities in the United States, even here in Belgrade, they've had a number of gay parades here. And you know there was a lot of uh, a lot of problems with it. Uh, so I would say if you're a homosexual, just kind of keep it to yourself. You know, don't go out flaunting it or whatever. And no offense, I'm not trying to be rude to you. You know, I respect uh, homosexual rights. The state of Illinois, you can marry a gay person now. So there's like what 20 states, 18 states, or whatever. But here in Serbia, it's not going to happen for a while. And you know, a lot of countries are telling Serbia, you know, hey, to join the European Union, you need to do this, 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 and, and, and acceptance of that is, uh, you know, one of the strings that they've attached. And, and, and to me, no, no disrespect, but I think it's silly, you know. Each country is their own, and, and that's what makes traveling and, and going to different parts of the world, you know, so special and so unique is, is the differences. You know, I'm not saying it's good, you know, to... to hate somebody for some silly little reason, but, you know, that's part of the world, you know. People hate me because I'm an American, and, and I'm not going to go around to everybody and say, hey, like me, you know, accept me because I'm an American. No, you know, and I think it's the same if, if you're gay, you know, if you're gay, you're gay, that's fine, but don't go around asking people to, you know, to throw it in their face and say, hey, respect me. No, you know, you've got to earn your respect, you know. And I don't think these other small, uh, bigger Western countries can come here to Serbia and say, hey, blah, 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 do this, do this, do this, to get into this wonderful heaven on earth European Union. No, leave Serbia alone and let them make their own decision. They've been on this earth for a long, long time. They've been civilized for a lot longer than most people. So they can make their own choices. So anyway, that's my questions for today. Something else, you know, not to get political, because I don't, I don't talk a lot of political things, but here on CNN International, which I watch a lot because it's in English, when I'm walking around, something that I find troubling, and I'm sure you Serbians do too, there's a commercial on here called Invest in Kosovo. And it talks about America, it's fertile soil, skilled labor, minerals under the ground. And I'm just sitting here as an American watching this and, and sharing my hands with this, thinking they're showing us stuff in Serbia, for God's sakes. You know, that's like cutting open somebody on the Serb, putting salt in there and rubbing it right in your face. It's on the TV, for God's sakes. An American station that's playing right here in your country telling you this. Country telling you, we already know. We, 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 the Albrights, the Clintons, the Clarks, they already know about the first, they already know about the first, so unfortunately, 
you know, you've got to listen to this crap shoved in your face. Maybe you're a Serb that's, a, so you're a Serb that's been booted out. You turn on the TV trying to get some news and, and, and you run into that. Disgusting. So I would like to take this opportunity to, I would like to take this opportunity to see uh, for playing this ridiculous commercial in your country. So anyway, that's it, my friends. I'll answer more. That's it, my friends. I'll answer more questions.